Today we're going to talk through the concept of iterations, what they are, why we use them, how they work, um, and it's a bit of a more complex topic, but once you get this, uh, it's, it's a game changer. So what are they? Why do we use them? Uh, iterations are basically the concept of looping through a piece of information in EasyMorph. Uh, think of it like programming where I'm trying to find some, I have a large set of data and I'm trying to filter it to get to something smaller. In Excel world, as an analyst, you're probably taking a large set of data, putting it in a pivot table, and that looks great. But then the salesperson from this region wants it this way, and this person wants it that way, and they, you can, don't want to show them any of uh, anybody else's data. So I guess it'd be very mundane and manual. So let's talk through it here. Uh, so we have an example of two sets of data, two pieces of data, if you will, two spreadsheets. Uh, we have the sales sheet right here, which is branch month sales value. And we also then have the branch. So in this example, what we're gonna demonstrate is that we can filter this branch sales data by the branch ID and extract it into its own branch. Uh, so what we will expect to have happen is that each branch has its own file. So let's get right to that. Um, the way we're gonna do this is through a concept called um, modules. So we are going to create a module and we're going to bring over the branch sales data. And then we have to filter it by each parameter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and create some parameters. First parameter is the branch ID. So I'm just going to go ahead and create branch ID as a parameter name because that's easy. And I'm going to set the value to one. That alone doesn't do anything. So I have to actually then go and say, I would like this branch ID to be filtered by this condition. So I'm going to write the condition here that the branch ID equals this parameter. And when we do that, we get a nice little test that this is working correctly. And we also need to add a second parameter, one called just the branch name. And the reason for that is because we want this to extract a file for each of the branch names. Now, I can put any value I want in here. It's usually useful if I am going to filter it or do something that I can see. But in this case, um, I know that the names are coming from that second file, so we're gonna pass it over. We're gonna go ahead and build out the whole thing too. Um, so I'm gonna say export to Excel. The file is actually gonna be the parameter. So the branch name, we're gonna say create new file, and I'm gonna override it each time and I'm gonna make this sheet say data. So it looks like I, I touched it. Um, now I'm gonna click apply. And if I were to try to run this right now, it wouldn't work yet. So first and foremost, let's just save this. Um, we're gonna save it to my desktop with the other files and we're gonna call it iteration. And now I need to go back to that main module. So for, this was for demo purposes. So I'm gonna remove that. And now I'm gonna say that we want to iterate. So I have this data loaded. I'm gonna type in iterate. And what this is saying is I can pick a module or project. We're gonna to stick to modules here. Talk about projects later. Um, and I'm gonna pass it over to module one. So I should have probably given it a better name, especially if this gets more complicated. So I could have right clicked and said um, sales, oops, sales data and flip back to my main and I'm gonna say, I'm running the sales data module. I wanna iterate, so we're saying this is the parameter in the sales data module, hence why we renamed it. It's a little bit confusing if you do one, two, three. In this project, we're gonna call it branch ID and the branch branch here. Um, and we're gonna stop it if it fails. So I'm gonna click apply, I'm gonna save it, and I'm going to say reload and run. So what we should see happen over here is that each of my files, that was really fast because it's not that much data, we should see that each of the files is filtered exactly how we want. So the branch ID is this, um, and the month is here, and it even says data, so it looks great. Um, now the other thing is maybe the branch ID is something that we just didn't really want to know. So we'll get into more of that later where we start manipulating things. Um, in more of a logical way. So hopefully that helps.
Thanks for listening.